Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this company, uh, Zero Plus, uh, makers of logic analyzers and all sorts of stuff, um, have made this product here, which is a device to test your outlets, which we're going to get into in a second. Uh, they have sponsored this video for me to show you all about this. However, um, even though it is sponsored, they do not control what I say, and my opinion is my own. So, that being said, let's get into this. So this is actually a neat little product. It's basically a little box and uh, all you do is you plug it into an outlet and it tells you the condition of the outlet. Now I think it uh, goes by inductance which is sort of like a, the AC version of a sort of resistance. And so if your wall outlets are sketchy, um, this thing will give you a rating one through eight. Uh, looks like six, seven, eight is good. Um, uh, three, four, and five is um, you need to, you, you should probably call an electrician. And one and two is uh, definitely call an electrician. So uh, the zero plus stuff looks very cool. Uh, and so this thing is no different. Um, they do a really good job on the packaging, as you can see, very Apple-like. So here's the device, quite light, quite hollow. Brook Living is the um, is is the little brand they have for that. Uh, then you got a oh, you got a bunch of stickers, I guess, to mark which of your outlets are which color, and uh, some instructions. These are in Chinese. Here's the English. And, uh, you know, there are instructions, you should probably read them, however, uh, taking a look at this product, it's actually pretty simple, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, and that's the end of the packaging, already, all made of cardboard, recyclable material, which is great, but also a lot of space to sort of take care of the product in shipping. Don't think it'll get broken, especially considering it's so light. So here we go. The unit itself, quite simple. It has this uh, plug coming out. Um, the only thing I have to say is um, I kind of wish it had a ground prong as well. I understand a ground prong would make it a lot harder for it to be, you know, multi-regional, but it would be nice to see if the ground is connected. Um, but on the front here, you've got your sort of your, your LED scale. Looks like you have some vents on the back I might try to pop this open in this video. We'll see if it's even doable, but uh, it might be a one-way trip. Uh, it is what it is. And then, yeah, you just plug this in and you check the results. Let me get a outlet strip here and we will test it. All right, let's start this with a power strip. Uh, the reason I'm using a power strip is because you can use this to test extension cords, wall outlets, uh, pretty much anything that you plug into the wall. I did dim the lights a little bit in the room. Uh, these will not look particularly bright, but that is because I have video lights uh, up, up here and on those sides here. So literally all you do is you just plug it in and you give it a couple seconds and it'll give you a reading. Now this is a good quality um, strip from Costco. So I wasn't expecting anything bad, but it looks like we have uh, six. So that's in the green, we're good and we can work our way down six again and uh, if you want to double check you can just press the only button on the unit big button on the top and it will do the test again there we go now let's try to fool it I'm gonna try to pull it out here and just rest it on the socket see if that does it still does a good connection so we're good in that aspect just gonna try to hold it as lightly as possible Still good. Okay, so this is still a good socket. Move on, I'm gonna try one more. Then I've got another idea. Yeah, that one's still good. All right, so I have not tested this before, but I have this little Bakelite adapter. Um, this is from the previous owner of my house. The, my house was built in the 70s, I believe. And so we're gonna see if uh, that still equals decent connection. 
yeah, it's still good. I'm going to try another connection in the big light. Well, we're still good. All right, let's try something else. All right, some of you might remember this box I made to uh, safely test um, 110 volt appliances and stuff. Uh, so I've got a computer, you know, power supply wire here. There, it goes through a switch and a fuse. And I also have this little pigtail, which uh, is safe right now because right now nothing is connected. I do have a foot pedal, which I'm going to step on right now. So foot pedal is active, so that light is active. Let's try to see if I did any any good here. By the way, this wire is going into that uh, extension uh, thing we saw earlier. Ooh, looks like I'm in the orange. And so I guess maybe I'm going through too many connections. I'm dropping, uh, I'm having a little bit of resistance. So good thing I made this for test purposes only. I'm going to press this again though, and we'll see if it gives us a consistent result. Oh yeah, okay. So we're just in the orange there. Let me try the other socket now. Same device, different socket. Just to see if this is any better. Nope, same thing, right on the orange. So, you know, this probably I wouldn't use it, uh, you know, in a long-term basis because this one isn't great. All right, I found something notoriously horrible. Now, again, these doesn't these don't look like they're lit, but trust me, they are lit. It's just because of my studio lighting here. Uh, but I've got uh, about 10 feet of Dollarama or Dollar Store, I should say, Christmas lights. Let's see how good these are. Come on. Oh, oh, it's even worse. Hmm. How can we do this even worse? I'll go get some more. All right, so I plugged in that original bunch over here. So here's the original ones, and here is a new string. So that's going off down that way, and then this coming back here, and it's plugged into another string. So we've got, I don't know, probably another 20, 30 feet of this stuff. Here it goes. This is why you shouldn't use your Christmas lights as extension cords. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I mean this is probably fine for a super low current these uh, Christmas lights use almost no current But yeah, you should not plug an appliance at the end of these cords and um, This thing is just showing whoops. I pressed the button So let's see if it says the same thing. Yeah <laughs> Pretty good and so that's it for the Brook Livin wire care by zero plus now um, you can go in the link in the description below to get yours, but um, I think personally, I do, I do know this is marketed to everyday Joes, but I think people who really should have uh, these things are people that are in the maintenance industry. So if you are sort of like a property maintenance or um, deal with rentals a lot, etc., uh, this thing can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. You know, if you're needing to decide whether or not to get the electrician out. If you're a hobbyist a DIYer, this might be a good idea as well, since uh, it's very inexpensive for a hobbyist or a DIYer to replace outlets. You can just go around with this and test all the outlets. And what's cool is that you can do this to your extended family as well. So, yeah, it is a hundred dollars, but honestly, what other product does this? Because a multimeter won't really tell you the inductance on a socket. Thanks for watching.